Madison's chief of police says he is in support of a citywide referendum that would help limit the city budget crisis. Adding a referendum to the November ballot is a decision now left up to the Common Council, but opinions are divided. Joel Ballard talked to Police Chief Sean Barnes today to find out why police believe this referendum is important. You won't see the type of policing in Madison that Madison deserves and that Madison requires and expects. Madison has faced challenges in raising property taxes due to state-imposed limits. As a result, the city now needs to make budget cuts to address its financial shortfall. There's nowhere to cut that's not going to have an immediate effect on the services that we provide. Police Chief Barnes tells me he's unhappy that tough decisions are needed, but without a referendum, cuts may be unavoidable. This is a stressful time for our employees. Uh, determining you know, what their work um, station may look like next year. Chief Barnes also tells me that majority of their budget covers salaries. So if you reduce it by 5%, that would mean a hiring freeze for 2025 and reducing the amount of police officers that are currently on the streets. He says for a city the size of Madison, that is simply not the safest option. Others argued during the Common Council meeting on Tuesday that the city has an obsessive spending problem and should look to reallocate funds before increasing the property tax. We have some smart people in Madison, some very smart families, and they have to sit down at the dinner table and ask themselves, what do we want for Madison and what are we going to ask for? The Madison Common Council will decide whether to put the referendum on the November ballot at a meeting later this month. Reporting in Madison, Jarrell Ballard, 27 News.